We've heard a lot about some of the ways that large language models are helping companies. I mean, it seems to be in the news every day. Uh, I think something a lot of people are curious about is what doesn't work and how we overcome those issues. So I would start. I think the, there are a couple of things everyone need to be careful about when going this route is number one is we spoke about use cases. Not every use case is AI use case. If you have an option to go, you know, deterministic route, something which can be directly fetched from API, you know, always build a model, that modular that you can get it directly from API and not use AI. And if I talk about AI, one thing we are realizing, and this actually happened within the, uh, within the same year, like earlier this year, we were talking about RAG is the golden pill for everything, but now what, realize, what we are realizing is RAG is not the solution for everything. Um, a lot of things that doesn't work is one of the thing is latency. RAG, if, if just for everyone's knowledge, it's retrieval augmented generation. So the whole concept is we are sending a query, but we will, we will just retrieve the information from internal database, and then we are just going to send it to LLMs. Um, but there is a whole latency around it. There is, um, there is a, you know, a stochastic aspect of it, uh, which is not working very well in RAG. And then, you know, the fine tuning and few other aspects is like knowledge ingestion. Um, now the post training is coming, which are better solutions. So I think it's just constantly evolving, but there are few things which are as is, people have been trying to do last one and a half year. They are, they are finding that it's not working that way.